What's the fastest way to reach your first or next 100 YouTube subscribers? Well, my friend Ed is one of the most knowledgeable dudes in the YouTube game, so I jumped on a call with him and asked him exactly how he'd do it if he was starting from zero. One of the stumbling blocks that newer creators have is where they're like, what niche do I pick? Starting a YouTube channel, you need to talk about something you're interested in. Otherwise, it gets boring. Even when you're talking about stuff you're interested in, it does start to feel a bit repetitive after a while. The first thing when I talk to YouTubers is, I say, what's your goal? What do you want to be doing in five years time as a result of your YouTube channel? Usually if they struggle to answer that, it's a bad sign because it means they've not got a clear pathway. So they're making videos without actually thinking about, you know, what are these videos supposed to do for them as a creator? So you might find that some people, they just want views. They don't want to be on camera. They've got a product they want to sell. They've got a community they want to build. Gaming channels in particular often want a lot of views for ad revenue and then sponsorships. And that might dictate the type of content. So I would say it's not necessarily such a case of making a jump, it's making the right jump for you. I guess the next thing is to just start off by looking at what works for the other creators in your niche. So you could go to a big channel and see what did they start off doing, go back up to the top, see what got their most views now, what video every time they cover it does well, and think maybe I try and remake that in my own special way. The quickest way, generally, is just to harness news and a trend uh, or social hacking. Talk about things that already have an audience. So let me say AI right now is in demand. If you were a new channel and you were talking about gaming, maybe making a video that involved AI and gaming would be a smart move because people are interested in it because it's a hot topic. So you might like to get more clicks by default. So that's one of the easiest ways to get initial views. But really, if I was starting, you've got to get your skills up. YouTube is a game of skill. It's not it's not a game of luck, it's 100% skill. That's what makes YouTube so hard is you've got about 10 different skills you have to learn and get very good at. And every one of them needs to really work unless you've got money to pay someone. And until you learn those, you won't get anywhere. So that takes time. I think you want to think about your skill level, how used you are to producing content. And if it's your first time, look for the quickest win. So news, trends, and probably finding search terms which you could cover. If you are finding that you're not getting many views, well, you've got multiple problems to work on. So you've got a thumbnail title and content problem. And the sad thing about this is you, you kind of need to get good at all of them. Otherwise, nothing's going to work. So you have to get good at videos no matter what, because if your title and your thumbnail is great and your video sucks, it doesn't go anywhere. But also the same way, if your video is good and your title and thumbnail no one clicks on, it doesn't go anywhere either. Focus on two things. How do I make titles and thumbnails people click on? And how do I make content that is engaging, interesting, fun? And I'd probably say not too creative to start. Like, don't run before you can walk. When I started adding more and more effort to my videos, I didn't just go and film loads of shots for a 10 minute video to fill the whole thing. I just focused on making the intro a little bit more interesting. You gotta build up and then put it out. And really what I found is people learn by making mistakes, but they also learn from when things start to work too and things suddenly click. So they might say, oh, okay, I understand why that intro worked now. And that means that they can take what they learned from the intro and maybe start to apply it to other sections of their video. So take it step by step. Don't try and be the best creator in the world until you've got your skill set up a lot. And I think, I think the problem is everyone thinks they're passing their driving test and getting straight into an F1 car and winning the race with YouTube. Oh, I, I've used a camera. I can talk to a camera. You know, they look at other people and go, I could do that. Are you sure about that? <gasps> and they don't, watch their own videos back and realize how bad they are. And they have this expectation that they could handle a Ferrari, you know, or an F1 car around the track. For the, the, the people who win races in F1, Lewis Hamilton started when he's like six, you know? He spent 15 years or whatever it is becoming a professional to finally get in there. And that took a lot of time. And YouTube is exactly the same, but our expectations are, anyone could do it, it's just talking to a camera. And it is not. <laughs> in the beginning, you just gotta do your best, but I probably, go more towards just getting videos out, trying to make each one a little bit better than the last. Look at, okay, this video, this one got 50 views and this one got 200. Why? Probably be the title and thumbnail was more inter interesting. So then go, I'm gonna make that one because it did four times better. I'm gonna put two more hours extra effort into that one because I believe that if I do, the retention is gonna be better. And I think this title and topic is more likely to do better based on the fact that it has done before. And then the next one that you make, you might be like, I'm not sure how well it's gonna do. Well, maybe just do a good job on it. You know, try and maybe throw in a new editing trick or 
uh, you know, level up the thumbnail. Just pick one thing to try and do a little bit better and move on. Again, it goes down to how quickly people learn, how quickly they pick up patterns, how quick that result might be. And actually the most frustrating thing for most people is they'll put out a video and get no views. So there's nothing they can learn from it at all. That's what makes it really tough. It's like, well, I've made four videos now. I've not got one view. What do I do? <laughs> yeah. so it's just keep going, <laughs> even though even though it really hurts. So I don't I don't think quality is the thing to aim for in the sense of trying to make these insane showy videos. I definitely wouldn't try and do what I do until you've got the basics down. If you've seen my videos, I would maybe look at elements of them and say, I like the way he did that editing effect. Do as much as you can to a level that you feel confident with where you look at and go, I think this is quite good and then try and do the next one a little bit better. This is exactly what I did. Everyone in my niche, every time they talked about monetization, that video got more views. It didn't matter how good the thumbnail was, just having the word monetization in the title was a winner. So when I came around to do mine, after I'd been sort of building my skills, I was like, this is the one to put all the effort into. How are you gonna do that? How are you gonna make this video your best ever? And yeah, I spent ages on it and it worked and it got like a couple of million views in the end. That's the way I'd look at it. Answer these questions in one sentence or less. We're not gonna hold you to it, but it's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the question. So best okay. tip for coming up with viral video ideas? Copying others. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the best, but it's the first thing that came to my mind. I love that. I feel like these next ones will be similar, but best tips for creating <laughs> clickable thumbnails and titles? I'll give you something different for that. Just remaking the best thumbnail and title you've already have in a slightly different way. Love it. Best tip for getting viewers to watch your videos all the way to the end. Making sure in your introduction, you really figure out what they care about and set up so that they're willing to stick around to the end to get it. Love it. And last one, when you're starting from zero, so no previous audience, no anything, um, what's the, the best way to start getting views? Buy them. No, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> don't do that. I think I'm gonna say just news, just a news story, cover it. Yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, I think I think I'll give you an A plus for that, Ed. <laughs> that's really hard. It's quite fun though. Okay, so that's how you go about reaching your first 100 subscribers. But what about 1,000 subscribers? Well, check out the video on the screen where I talk to Ben, who was able to go from a small struggling YouTuber to over 1,000 subscribers in just five weeks. Check it out.